Hi, this is Josh Newton, sales engineer at Whitesource. This is the first of a series of videos covering the use of the Whitesource app for GitHub.com, which provides open source scanning of your GitHub repositories for security vulnerabilities, license violations, and other features. The onboarding process assumes that your GitHub administrator has installed the Whitesource for GitHub app correctly into your organization, and that you can proceed with this video to setting up a repo. To connect your GitHub repository to Whitesource, go into your organization and click Settings. And then Applications. If the app was installed correctly by your GitHub administrator, you will see a white source for github.com. Click on the configure button and then choose to either enable the integration for all repositories within this organization or for selected repositories. From here, you can filter and select your specific repository and then click save. The final step is to onboard the repo via the pull request that is automatically created by the integration. There are ways to automate this onboarding process and your admin may have done this for you, but both the integration and merging of the pull request are required at some point. When we go into our repo and look at the pull request tab, we now see a configure white source for github.com pull request has been created. And when we open this, we see information around the pull request and we see that it is adding a dot white source configuration file into our repo. So simply click the green merge pull request button and then confirm the merge to onboard this repo. We will now see a dot white source file here in the code section. And we also see a check run has kicked off um, from the integration. This is our initial scan of your repository where the white source agent is detecting all open source components located within the repo. And with this dot white source file present, we are now scanning all commits to this repo that meet the criteria. There are default scan triggers where white source is smart about determining if the commit is significant enough to warrant a security scan. For example, if a developer only updated the readme file, we are not going to run a scan on that commit. When we open up the dot white source file, we see several settings and parameters present. We can research these settings within the white source documentation page. To access that page, simply click the question mark from the upper right corner of the white source UI. From here, you can search for github.com and see all of the related articles for this integration. When we click on the scan settings, we see all of the capabilities offered. The default scan settings are adequate for most situations, but if you wanted to enable additional capabilities such as checking the license types to see if they violate a policy you define for your organization, you can enable those features as well. Thank you for watching this presentation. If you have further questions, please reach out to your white source representative or you can visit our website for more information.